Hello, Terracon4 here. This time I'm showing you my underwater drone. It's a fairly simple package that contains one underwater robot that the player can control, a buoy that can sit on the surface and act as your home base or remote antenna, and a cable that simply connects the two of them. Here we can see in the demo level all three present and active. If you just want the drone with no buoy or cable going to it, that is entirely doable by just not spawning the buoy or turning off the cable option if you just don't want the cable. The buoy is a simple physics simulating actor that is set up to just float on the surface of a water physics volume, nothing too fancy there. The cable simply connects point A to point B with a spline, and can be spawned by the buoy to connect its bottom to the drone's top, the idea being you can have an antenna on the buoy to let you remotely control a drone that might be ways down underwater where a signal couldn't reach it. You might rather stick the cable on a boat or something else, I just added the buoy as it was a simple addition to the project that meant everybody would have something it connects to if they wanted right off the bat. And lastly, the underwater drone itself. This actor is simply a character class that swims and moves around like you'd expect the character class to. There is some special code to control how it handles, like not moving until its rotors would have time to rotate to the appropriate orientation though. It has two meshes, the main drone body, and then the arm attachment under it. You can pilot it and swim around in all directions with the main body. Its main camera also rotates to look where you look, and has a light on it that can be turned on and off. The arm can be turned on and off also. When on, it will rotate to aim in the same direction as the camera, and you can trigger the arm to extend out and play a grab animation. There are keys to unlock the camera from the drone's rotation or the arm's rotation to allow you to better operate and observe them both as well. And all of the blueprints are fully replicated for multiplayer, by the way. Beside this, it also comes with some simple particles, sounds for the motors, and a water post-process effect used for the demonstration pool that you may find handy. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, have a healthy and productive week, everybody.